Okay, we made it up to the opening here of the cave. Whoa. And you can see it's a shallow cave. It goes back in there. It just goes back straight in a ways. But uh, it's pretty, pretty low. It's yeah, not, we're going to have to hunker. Not very high. We're, we're definitely going to I be, think even I'm going to have to hunker. I'm five we're gonna foot. Be, we're going to be hunkering to get through this baby. But that's pretty cool. Looks nice and dry. I'm just kind of worried about what we might find in here. This cave, the nice thing about it too, it looks like nobody, nobody's been here and nobody really knows about it. So, which is kind of a good thing. It ain't all graffitied up, at least at this point. All right, guys, here we go. Yeah, this cave is, boy. Yeah, we're there. Look at that colony. Yeah, cave. Whoa, look at all the ones. Yeah. Cave crickets everywhere. Now, definitely hunkered down in this baby. So, that looks like that might be that old plastic barrel. See, there was a guy, that's like a 90s dude. There was a guy living in here. And I want to see if we can find the evidence of that in here. Now, I'll tell you what the barrel was for when we get to it. Now, I can't stand up. But you can see the ceiling, what the ceiling's like here. Just a little damp. Dude, what's all that? Okay. All right, this, all right, these are remnants of his stuff. Oh, now, baby. I want to show you. Crap. This here is all remnants of furniture that he had in here. You see right here? See the fabrics? See the green fibers and the fabrics of the furniture that this guy hid in here. Right here is springs. From a couch or some kind of a seat. See them right here? You can actually stand up in this part. Yeah, there's a little hollowed out section of the roof here where you can stand up. Now, here is evidence of more furniture here. Here's a leg right here. There's a leg off of a leg off of a uh, some kind of a chair or table, see it? Yeah. This leg. Now that's something probably from the 70s or 60s. 60s or 70s, yeah. But you can see the old fabric. It's been in here so long. Now, it just kind of rotted away. See, there's a rug. See this rug right here? There's some kind of an old pan. I see there's a cup right there. What's it? Pick it up and see what it says on it. Or if it says anything on it. Nope. Oh, Looks like there's a tarp underneath right here. Where we're at right here. See this yeah. tarp? Now, here's what I'm going to tell you. 
I remember this from my childhood. This barrel that's back in here, he was using that to go to the bathroom in years ago, about 40 years ago. Which is when I would have been here, which I would have been maybe like 10 or something. But this little mine, this is this is as far as it goes right here. But that's what this barrel was. It was propped up. And he was using this to go to the bathroom years. All of them years ago. Now he he had it. I'm trying to trying to get up here to get around it. He had it cut out in a way that you could like sit on it. There's a bottle up in there. Right in the corner. Right you there. can see the barrel. Yeah. I don't know how old that is. Maybe get that out of there, hun, and see if that's an old bottle. Well, it's got, I mean, there's a rock in there, but it's got, I don't know. I wonder why they quit. It's like they quit. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't know, unless this was just a little, uh, little vein of something that they were getting out, or... I don't know. I mean, it might have just been a fact-finding mission to see what was in this hillside. I don't know. But it looks like there's limestone in here. You know, there's chunks of limestone and stuff they took out. Just a neat little, neat little cave, though. But somebody, now I don't know if that guy, I can't remember the story. I don't know if he was a fugitive and kind of running from the law and hiding out down in here. I can't remember the story about it. I can't remember if it was that or he was just kind of wanted to get away from society so he was looking for a quieter way of life I don't know I can't remember you can see where the roof's hollowed out right here right there where you can stand up he kind of decided to make that his his home you know kind of his living room area I guess you would say I was just really hoping I'm, I was just really hoping that I wasn't going to find a skeleton in here or something I mean it would have been cool but it would have been also kind of kind of crazy but there's definite evidence of when he was living in here the remnants there's a little Looks like one of the little leg things off of this piece of piece of furniture that we found the leg from right there. Like that. There's another one right there. Another cap from one of the legs. This is another one of the things I remember from my childhood, but I wasn't very old at the time, so um, I was just kind of following my calling my dad, you know, you know, we were just kind of just struggling to keep up, so I don't remember a whole, whole lot, but, but this is really something, coming back here all these years later and finding this, finding the evidence of it, of when he lived in here, 
with little drill holes. If I'm, I'm guessing them are just drill holes in the walls. There's some down there too. Now this looks like a Now this looks like a little shelf somebody had made. You see that stuff, that glittery stuff was on there. But it wipes off. I don't know what it is. Maybe you better check the drill holes. Maybe you stash money. <laughs> yeah, maybe he's some kind of a millionaire living in the cave. Here's an old lid off of something pretty old. Right here. Yeah. It looks like bones right there. Huh? Just not human bones. I was gonna say, hopefully they ain't Animal bones. bones. Yeah. I see some bottles in here. There's some old remnants. Let's see. In here, see any of this stuff. Any of this stuff's gonna be older stuff. Yeah, these drill holes are pretty cool. But yeah, he chose this section. If you look, it's right this section where he had everything was right in this spot. I wonder if you uncovered this, if there'd be more artifacts under here. Probably. Probably. See, there's a little shelf like right there. See it? See that little shelf right here? Like on the wall here? Yeah. Little shelf area. Yeah, it looks like this must have fell later. You know, uh, something that might have contributed to it is if he had, if he built fires in here, when he was living in here, it might have weakened the ceiling a little bit and then over, you know, yeah. it eventually fell down right here over this section where he was living at. But weird to find this. Okay, now this, finding all these unique things in here from the guy living in here, the thing about this is this is, this is not the end of the story. Um, that time that my dad and my uncles were down in here and we found evidence of the guy living in here like I said it was about 40 years ago I would say my dad recovered something from this cave and uh, something unique and he gave it to my mom and if we find that artifact I will produce a follow-up video on it. But, uh, very interesting. I don't know whatever happened to the guy or whatever became of him. But, very interesting little cave. Hunker our way out of this baby. That's the Let's see what you yeah. have here. Not front. Lots of little drill holes. Fifth Avenue, Christian Park. Oh, 
Yeah. Looks like uh, apples. Yeah. Two apples on there. What would that be? Applesauce, maybe? There's an old two liter bottle. That is from the 80s. That screamed 80s. Yeah, with that black thing yeah. on the bottom. Yeah, that's definitely definitely from an older time period there. Huh. There's more bounds right here. Looks like bounds. The quicker stay in this cave if it's raining. <laughs> Okay, so we just got out of that uh, mine there. Um, very crazy history here involved with this mine. And uh, I don't know how old this mine is. I haven't found anything on it. Um, it's just one of them old mines that there's really no history left on it. Um, but I knew it was here. But uh, please like and subscribe if you're liking this content. And I um, hope you enjoyed it. And we will see you on the next one. And thanks for watching.